Welcome back to today's vlog. It is the vlog you've been waiting for. An empty house tour. So I figured I was gonna do it for today's vlog because we move in on Friday and then maybe on Sunday I can show you guys all the furniture we have put in so far. Actually, there's, I'm not gonna lie, there's one piece of furniture that's in here because me and Mitchell got it last night. It's just a TV stand, but that's the only piece of furniture you'll see. Forewarning, my mom and Cassie are inside still painting. Everyone has been so helpful. I am so thankful for all the help we've had so far between my mom, Mitchell's mom, Cassie and Josh, Mitchell's mom's friend, Mitchell's dad. Everyone that's come and help, thank you so much. Between painting and everything, couldn't have done it without you. Let's get started. This is the doorway. We're gonna walk in. So right when you walk in to your right, we're probably gonna make this Mitchell's man cave. We're obviously gonna paint it. We're gonna put wood flooring down in here. We haven't gotten to painting this room so far. Then when you go to the left of the front door, you have our dining room. We're gonna change out this little chandelier. I don't like it. I'm not sure what color we're gonna paint this yet. You walk through our front door and you go straight and you run into our fireplace. And this is where our sectional will be right here. This is the TV stand I was talking about that we're gonna put our TV on and we're probably gonna mount the TV on the wall. Not a fan of this color piece of wood right here so I'm probably gonna stain it darker and that picture has got to go along with this fan. This belongs to someone's house that is not mine. So when you come off of this family room, I'm gonna take you to the right and we're gonna go in the hallway. There's to my left and there's to my right. Let's go to the left. We'll go to this bathroom. We're not gonna touch this bathroom because the color of it matches the tiles in here. It's got a door that leads to go outside. Boom. Okay, I'm not gonna show you outside yet. Moving on. Then we walk out of the bathroom and we go around the corner and this is one of the bedrooms. This is where I'll be putting my bedroom stuff in, so if someone wants to stay over, if we have a guest or anything, they can sleep in here. I am gonna be repainting this room as well and repainting the closet and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna change the floorings out yet because I'm just not gonna do it, but we are gonna get Stanley Steamer to come and clean the carpets at least. Then when you walk out of the bathroom, you're coming into this bedroom, which is where we're gonna make it an office. I know you guys are excited about an empty house tour, but I'm excited to show you like the aftermath of everything when we have rooms painted and furniture and, um, and when they actually look clean. So yes, I'm going to repaint this room, repaint the closet, not change the flooring. But you remember when I said I wanted to put new wood flooring in Mitchell's little man cave? This is the flooring we're gonna match with. A little love seat couch that has a pull out bed right here and there's someone else that can sleep in here. This room is kind of like a Jack and Jill because it leads into a bathroom. So you can exit this way or you can come into the bathroom right here. This bathroom is being redone. If you saw my last vlog how I said it was this yellow and it's gotta go. Painting this bathroom because as you can see it's yellow and no one really likes do you, yellow. Do you think any of those? It's going. It leads into another bedroom which is Cassie's bedroom. And now for the part you've all been asking for, who the heck is Cassie? Just Cassie, not John. <laughs> Probably because I mentioned you more. She's one of my longtime best friends. I've known her since second grade. She's like my other half, my person. Her and her boyfriend are living with us. They're not living with us the whole entire time. They're just living with us short term. She's like a travel junkie. She loves to travel all the time. She just came back from being gone for six months. Yep. So she's back in Orlando and she's planning on leaving again in another six months. Mm, probably May. May-ish, whatever. I'm holding her hostage here while she's in Orlando. But yes, they are living with us. And for those of you say like, oh, why aren't you and Mitchell having like quality time in your new house? We will. We have this house for God knows how long. We will have our quality time. Right now while we're young, we wanna have our best friends living with us because we think it'll be fun. And if it's not fun, we'll just kick him out. <laughs> she didn't hear that. So when you exit her bedroom, we're in the family room again. We're gonna go to the kitchen area. This is where we're gonna put like our little kitchen table and I wanna get like a round table, have four chairs there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this wall yet. Oh, but as you can see, we're painting. I hope you guys really like this color. It goes so good with the flooring, I love it. Um, here's a little Brady's bowl. It looks so cute here. So now we're in the kitchen area. I hate these cabinets so much. In like a month, me and Mitchell decide we're probably gonna get them like 
repainted or stained darker. I kind of wanted to do like a white rustic handscape look, if that makes any sense. I think that'll go really good with the backsplash and with the dark countertops. Here's my wonderful mother painting away. This is our laundry room. I don't know if you remember in the other vlog, it was this yellow again, and now it's a pretty tan color. I was trying to get this room done because we got new washer and dryers. With this, I'm also wanting to get those refinished and repainted and get a new sink and stuff. So now to me and Mitchell's bedroom. So when you walk out of the kitchen, we have this little nook area. I don't know what you want to call it, but it has this cool little closet that I can hang like our coats in for the winter time. Even though it doesn't get cold in Florida, but it does get cold sometimes. Can put our shoes there. And this is our bedroom. Obviously I have to paint it because I do not like this color. Can't decide what I want to paint it yet though. Everything is done though in our bedroom and bathroom. All that needs to happen is be painted. For these two windows right there and there, I want to put the shutter. I don't know if you saw them. I want to put the shutter things that are all around the house, but except in our bedroom, these guys. I don't know why they didn't put the plantation shutters there, but we're probably gonna go and do that and get rid of these blinds, and then we're gonna, there's blinds on this window too, and we're probably gonna get rid of them. I don't know if I wanna put the shutters on these windows because I think it'll take away from the sliding glass door. So I think I just wanna put like, hang curtains there or something. I think that'll look really pretty. And then we can close them whenever we want privacy and to push the sun out. My bathroom's right here, and then walk through the bathroom, and voila. I think my favorite part about the bathroom is this like tub area. My dream, like eventually down the road, maybe in a couple years, I love like the freestanding tubs. They're my absolute favorite, so eventually I wanna do that, just have like a freestanding tub right there. I think it'll look so good. And then to like redo the shower and probably like leave it all open, I think that'll be really pretty too. So funny story, there was like a bar that went right over here. But Mitchell's dad took it away because Mitchell's too tall that he had to duck every time he went in the shower. Well, not like we used the shower before, but when we were like going in the shower and see how spacious it is, he had it like he had a duck to get in. So his dad took it off and now he doesn't have to duck anymore. Another favorite thing about my bathroom is this little area. Like how perfect is this to sit and do my makeup? I can, I just have to get a chair right here and then I can store all of my makeup and whatnot in there. And then we have a little linen closet. This is our bathroom. At first I was like, oh, I kind of like this color, like the color of our bathroom. It's pretty, it's not like really that ugly, but the more I look at it, it seems purple to me. And I don't like that, so. I think eventually I'm gonna paint our bathroom too. I'm just not gonna do it anytime soon. And our closet. Whoa! So much room for activities. I think this is gonna be my half of the closet. And this is gonna be Mitchell's. <laughs> is that bad? Mitchell doesn't have a lot of clothes, so that will be luxurious to him to have those two ginormous shelves. And I need a lot of racks for my shoes because I keep my shoe boxes. After you leave my bedroom, I'm gonna take you outside to the best part of the whole entire house. See, look, our little first Halloween decoration. So when we walk outside, oh, look at the little doormat I got. It's always happy hour. It's actually moved over there under that little kitchen area, but we just put it there because when people walked outside, they can wipe their feet real quick. So out here, I don't know what we're gonna do yet with this. We want to hang a TV right there. We don't know where to put the patio furniture yet. Like we don't know if we should put it right over here or like in the middle right here. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think where we should put the patio furniture. So we need to get like a little mini fridge right, for right there. They took theirs. And then here's our pool. Looks so inviting. And then out here, oh look, there's a little doggy door right here too for Brady. How cute. I wonder if she can fit through. So they left this here too, the soccer net and everything, but we're gonna take that down because I don't like it there and I don't have kids yet. And then out here we have our putting green or a little chipping course, whatever you wanna call it. Hopefully not Brady's pee or poop area. It's like walking in a little park back here. You walk, 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 walk. Walk this way. After we walk here, look behind me, now look behind me again. We have a beautiful playground for the children I don't have, yet. My backyard can accommodate all types of ages, so 
I have a putting green, I have a basketball course, basket, basket, what did I say? Basketball course, pool, and then I have this playground for any little kids that come over. So for Karen, my best friend who has two kids, she can come over. Cassie, her sister has two kids, she can come over with her kids, and then anyone else that has kids can come over. It's like hoping they would leave this playground because I love it, it's awesome. And I wouldn't know what I would put there if I, there wasn't a playground there, so it worked out great. So that's my empty house tour, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions of any good furniture places to shop at, or if you simply have any questions about my house, please comment down below and I will try and answer them. So excited to show you guys when we furnish the house and all the decorations we eventually get. But in Sunday's vlog, I will definitely show you the bedroom set we got and the couch we got. And we'll have a lot more furniture in there, so stay tuned. And, oh my god, I forgot to even say, because I was so excited to do this little house tour, I reached 50,000 subscribers! All you have to do is I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone that watches my videos and actually enjoys them and it's crazy. I never thought this could actually happen and how much I've grown. Also, obviously, a huge thank you to KK and Baby J because they're just the best. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything and watching and just being the greatest fans ever. I will be doing a fun video for reaching 50,000 subscribers. I'm not going to tell you when I post it. It'll be a surprise, so just watch out for it. Um, it's probably not going to come up this week because it's such like a hectic week for me right now. It's already hard. It was already like hard to get a minute in film because I literally have just been doing all house stuff all week long. It's been kind of stressful. I know it'll be worth it in the end. Yeah, so just watch out for that video. It'll be fun. Something totally different, but it's something you guys have been requesting to see. I'll give you a hint. It's kind of like a, I don't want to say a challenge, but it'll be a funny video. You guys will enjoy. All right, have a good rest of your Wednesday. Oh, Bye. What the? Look, did you get up here? This is hot as shit.